Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to use the pedal um, when playing chords, when playing arpeggios, and um, maybe when just spicing up your song with some things. So let's talk about the chords. This is the most important part of it. Now, all right, so um, when you're playing chords, you would want you don't want your chords to overlap. What do I mean by that? I've seen many people play use sustain pedal like this. They just put their leg down on it and keep their leg uh, to the end of the song or something. So you, every every chord you are playing, your pedal is down. So you go. And it is not good, it is not nice. So the correct way to use the sustain pedal is to change with every chord. You are moving with the chord changes. So as let's say you on you're on your root. You move to your four. I don't know if you saw what I did here. You get so as the chord changes, you change your, your like you lift your leg, your foot off the pedal, you put it on with the new chord. You understand? So you don't you don't want to um, let the chords overlap into each other. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. One chord, you sustain that one. When you go to the next, up, down. Up, down. You understand? That's a good way. So basically, you can try some exercises. You can just use your do you mean to do um, chords as an exercise to master this. So take your do, hold it down, move to your re, re, fa, so, la, si. So for many people at first using the sustain pedal seems like so much work it's like you're splitting you are you know it's already so much work trying to play two different things with both hands but now adding your leg to work like splitting your brain and all but actually after a while it becomes so natural it's just so natural for me so it becomes like that after a while so um i hope you'll be able to get it anyway so yeah try that exercise you understand so that's how to use your sustain pedal with chords and as the chord changes you get so now the second way is um or the second one i'm going to show you is with arpeggios now imagine i'm going to play an arpeggio of my um f sharp major chord right so it sound like this but that was not sweet at all so now imagine adding a sustain pedal to that it changes it totally you understand so generally your arpeggios Sound much better when you um, when you add sustain pedal. You understand? So, all right. So if you have been wondering why maybe your arpeggio has not been arpeggioing, maybe it's because you don't have your sustain pedal. You've not been using it rightly. You get so when you are pegating chords, I want to be on the pedal. All right. So I, I think that's simple enough. So now, um. Uh, another time you might want to know how to correctly use your pedal. Maybe when you maybe you you playing a song and you're going to add like all these nuances or maybe um, chromatics. Yeah. So let's say I'm playing. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and adored. So we. What did I do? I did um you notice at that, at that point I was not um holding down my sustain pedal. So this is like the left hand the one, so like just chroma chromatics, you got so I move chromatically from um me, me more ready, me more ready. You understand? So at this point I was not using my pedal. Why? Because when you play notes like this in between songs, like when you want to apply your left hand nuances, I think you would want you'd want your notes to be individual. Imagine I use a sustain pedal there. So we lift up. Nah, it doesn't give it. So you want to hear that one one note. You get so so we lift up. You understand? So that's um, you just need to know when to use it and when not to use it. But I believe over time, as you keep on um, using it and exercising it, you get better generally. That's it. So um, I think that's basically all for now. But the things, whatever you, whatever you, you keep on doing, you get better at it. So yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching.